G'day everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day or a nice night. It's Thursday here in Australia and I'm back home again now from my local food bank. Uh, this morning I've come back with lots of yummy goodies which will be a big help to us uh, this week. Uh, this is the same food bank I go to on a Tuesday. On Tuesdays they receive donations from a local supermarket and bakery in my area. So the bread that you get on the Tuesday is more from local donations. And it tends to be quite often um, more sweet things and stuff I can use for morning teas or afternoon teas, snacks for my kids. So that's why I usually go on a Tuesday. But on the Thursday, it's slightly different again. They get a lot of bread donated from the big food bank in Queensland here. A lot of big um, donations they receive on the Thursday. And they also have what they refer to as coal bags that you can pick up. Um, these are bags of frozen and refrigerated items that they sell usually for a low cost. And they also usually have boxes of fruit and veggies for a low cost on the Thursday as well. So that's why I go more than once during the week because um, whenever I can afford it, on the Thursday, I try and go and um, pick up a cold bag of items because I've been finding it a real big help to our family at the moment to get all the ready meals and the different items in the cold bag. So I went along again today and I got a cold bag, which I'll show you all in a minute. I haven't unpacked it yet, so it's another mystery surprise one. But first of all, I'll show you all the baked items that I got, all the breads. Uh, first of all, I got some English muffins, uh, two six-packs, which look really good. These are all in date as well. They're not past their best before, so how nice is that? I think I read on the label that they are best before, yeah, the 14th of August, so that's really good. I will actually put them in the freezer to keep them, keep them nice. But, um, yeah, really handy to get. These will last us... For a few days with breakfast. I did also grab a really nice bag of large croissants, a 10 pack, which look really good. So again, very helpful for breakfast or sometimes I even heat up the croissants to go on the side with a dinner or a meal. I was also lucky today to get two loaves of the raisin sliced toast, which we all love in our house. And again, I'll put probably one of these loaves in the freezer and the other one we'll probably start to use straight away. So that was awesome. I did also get my favourite, <laughs> an olive sourdough loaf. So yay. And today they had some different drinks that you're able to get as well. So I picked up, this is a four pack, and for any coffee lovers out there, so it's Naked Life Espresso Martini, which sounds really interesting. It's non-alcoholic. I won't be giving these to the kids though, because I imagine they would be bouncing off the walls if I gave them something with caffeine in. But this will probably be something that I I have myself so that'll be a nice treat and I did also get today a couple yogurts for the kids uh, they had some yogurt where you could grab a couple if you could use them so I picked up these are Greek style soy yogurt with a hint of strawberry it says so two little tubs of that which will be great my kids love that sort of thing and I've got a mystery bag of cold items here to unpack as well. Now, ordinarily the cold bags are usually about $5. Today, the ladies at the food bank, they blessed me again. I'm so grateful. I really wasn't expecting it. I had budgeted and put $5 aside to pay for the cold bag this week, but they ref refused to take my money again. So yeah, such a big help um, to get the cold bag again this week for free. Um, very feeling very um, blessed. So I'm going to just clear off the table and then we can unpack it and see what goodies I got today. Right, back again. So let's have a look and see what we got in the coal bag this week. already see a bottle of milk, which will be very helpful. So we've got 
two litre bottle of full cream milk, which is great. This one, again, has been frozen. It's still in date, but they've frozen it, I suppose, to keep it, keep the milk good. This one I'll probably just sit in the fridge and let it thaw out in the fridge. So that's awesome. We've got some ready meals here. We've got fish stew and rice, which looks like that. Been getting the fish stew the last few weeks. Must be a big batch of that one that they've made. We've got chicken and vegetable curry with rice. Well, that's great. My husband likes these ones. So he'll be happy with that. Sorry, it's very hard to see. <laughs> to give you an idea of the ingredients, I think it's probably the same as what we got the other day. Chicken, carrot, capsicum, celery, cabbage, cumin, turmeric, coriander, rice, salt, pepper, water, chilli and chicken stock. So that's the chicken meal. And there's a bag of frozen chicken nuggets again. So that's handy. That's quite a big bag. Uh, looks like we've got a little quiche today. So that's nice. So a little quiche and some type of frozen meat pie. These are donated uh, from a local bakery in my area, I believe. Oh, we've got some more cheese. That's fantastic. I've still got a couple of the flatbread I got last Thursday and I'll be able to make some more pizzas with it. That's really good. So yay. Oh, and some more angel slices. These were so yummy. We've actually never had these until the other week, so it's just really nice to get some more. They look like that. Pretty tasty. Yum. And hiding in the back here is, oh, okay, potato and gorgonzola, if I can say it right, soup. So that's a type of cheese, I believe. There you go. So potato, sour cream powder, spring onions, butter, the cheese, pepper and water. Wow, that's a big bag too. Well, that'll be handy. That'll be interesting to try as well. So it's a blue cheese. Fantastic. So here's what we ended up with in the mystery cold bag this week. I think we did pretty good again. What do you think? I'm pretty happy with everything. Uh, very nice to get another block of cheese again. That means I'll be able to make some more pizzas with the flatbreads that I've got left over from the other week. So that'll be a big help. Really nice to get some yummy treats again too. Everyone will love that. Uh, yeah, so really happy with what I got again today. Such a blessing to be helped out again this Thursday. I really appreciate it. So... Yeah, awesome help to my family. If you're needing the help as well with food at the moment, please don't be shy to find a food bank nearby to where you are. I've left links down below in my description box, as always, if you need a place to start. Uh, you can go and put in a postcode or a zip code and hopefully be able to find something close by to you. And if you've got any ideas for different things I can make with the ingredients, let me know. Many a time I've made different things because of something that someone's commented in one of the videos. So thank you. Thanks again also for watching today. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of the week. And until next time, take care.